Authorities say he trained in firearms, military tactics, and how to make bombs. His name, Alexei Saab. He lives in Morristown, New Jersey. Authorities say he trained and worked for Hezbollah for more than 20 years. Among the targets he's accused of scouting, the Statue of Liberty and the Empire State Building, plus bridges and tunnels. News Force Chief Investigative Reporter Jonathan Deans is in the newsroom with the breaking news. Jonathan. Now, Chuck, the FBI says he attended terror training overseas in Lebanon before coming to the U.S. We are told no plot was currently underway, but this New Jersey man was allegedly working for years as a scout for Hezbollah, looking at sites that could be targeted should the group ever decide to try to strike here. This is Alexei Saab, a Morristown, New Jersey man who the FBI and NYPD say is a full-fledged member of Hezbollah, the Iranian-backed terror group. Saab allegedly took these photos, some dating to 2003, of bridges, tunnels, airports, and landmarks, and sent them back to terror leaders in Lebanon. Even though Saab was a naturalized American citizen, his true allegiance was to Hezbollah, U.S. Attorney Jeffrey Berman said in a statement. Even with photos allegedly found on his phone, officials say there was no plot underway here, and Hezbollah is not known to have carried out any past plots inside the U.S. But overseas, they are connected to terror attacks, including, for example, the killing of Jewish tourists on a bus in Bulgaria. The FBI New York director said the photos Saab took were meant to identify vulnerabilities and gather essential details useful for a future attack. Saab worked in IT in New Jersey and allegedly lied on his application to become a citizen, allegedly claiming he was not linked to any terror group. News of the arrest comes amid growing tensions between the U.S. and Iran over the recent strikes on Saudi oil facilities. But officials stress his arrest not connected. Security experts say unlike past ISIS plotters here, Iran-backed terrorists are playing a long game. For the most part, they keep a very low level of existence, low-profile existence, until they're ordered to act. In addition to New York, Saab allegedly also took photos and video of possible targets in Washington, D.C. and Boston. Attempts to reach Saab's attorney unsuccessful. This as Saab remains behind bars without bail on the material support for terror charges. In the newsroom, I'm Jonathan Deanst. Natalie, back to you. Thank you for watching this video from NBC4 New York. You can subscribe by tapping the button below me. And on the left, you can see our latest updates, investigations, and digital exclusives. We'll see you next time.